striper? Oh. been to Lake Murray in I believe eight or nine years. The last time I was here, the lake got angry and it took a graph from me. So this time we have a bigger boat, a better understanding of how to drive boats, and we are going to go out here and see what exactly the Elite Series pros were doing because we're here the day after Championship Sunday, and we're going to go try and catch a fish and see what's up. First Lake Murray bass right there. They are pretty. So pretty. All right. I was on the BFS combo. Custom light SS. Just skipping a Ocho up there. Am I hanging on too tight? First fish on the draw. Look at her. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Here I thought it was a striper. Yo. All right, cool. How long? Uh, I probably take 20 minutes. Cool. I will make a run over there here shortly. Did you see that big one? What big one? <laughs> I sent you a picture. You see that big Yeah, I sent you a picture. I got that big Oh, what the world? How you thought it? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh God, here they are. I found them again on a big old glide bait. 
Come here. Come on. Got him. Oh, shoot. I'm catching him on a glide bait and a swim bait right here. Really? You on the point? Yeah, I'm just on a windblown point. And uh, that one I got in the live well is probably about five. God, no. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, there's like four of them that are right here with it. And I'm just like, I have to wait for them. Like they'll fire up about every 15, 20 minutes. And they just did. And I missed it. it caught, I guess it hit my tail. <laughs> All right, man. See you in a few. place they were last time. Golly. Still some freaking big ones. Yeah. I, I, I think I caught the smallest one out of them too. Golly. Yeah. Like they weren't, they were small. <laughs> Those are some freaking giant. Yeah. What? And mine, mine, mine's a good sized one, but it was the smallest mark on the screen when they were there. And they, they're just sitting here. I don't know what has them sitting here because there's no herring unless they're like blowing through and i've also had two chase my glide bay just follow them i'm telling you the one that i've got is the smallest one out of the group i would love to catch all four because there's only three of them left that I'm watching on Panoptics. I'd love to catch all four. <laughs> <laughs> you want to run back out the point? Number three. Man, 
John, we need more than that. Custom light SS though on the Strike King Ocho. I've got spinning rods. There we go. Number four. Uh, He's chunky monkey. Chunky chunky. I ain't thinking. Well, I want to rig it up already up here. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Shut up. I'm dead serious. It's right here. Oh man, I'm barley. So we gonna be going down these docks and barley. <laughs> right there, ready to go. Thank you. Yeah, man. <laughs> guys there it is lake murray uh i didn't film an outro because it was incredibly dark when john and i got back we didn't get the fish for a really long time out there uh john had to work obviously that day so he came in the afternoon uh but we had a really good time out there we put a lot of the lose and mock nation and strike king products to work um uh, so the majority of the fish that i caught was on the custom light ss that is a new reel that we just released at the bassmaster classic in knoxville it is a shallow spool uh, custom light reel and it's essentially Lou's way of breaking into the BFS world and I know a lot of you BFS diehards are like it's not BFS well it's as close as it's going to get to BFS for me uh, custom light medium light fast rod is what I have that paired with and I was skipping uh, wacky rigged ochos uh, up and around these docks you know they don't weigh much of anything and then I really enjoy throwing an eighth ounce angler tungsten eclipse head with a 2.75 rage swimmer on there uh, you know, with 10 pound braid to a six pound leader, uh, I'm bombing those, you know, anywhere between 30 and 40 yards, which is really good for those little, little, little baits. Uh, then of course the big fish came on the six cents draw. Uh, it's a new glide bait just got it i'm i'm very slowly getting into the uh swim bait world giving it a try learning you know everything about big swim baits glide baits uh just kind of learning taking everything in it's really fun so uh, that was a really fun bite for my very first bite to be an almost five pounder on the glide guys if y'all like these videos please let me know down there in the comment section below and the reason why i say that this time especially is because i edited this entire video on my new iPad Pro. Uh, I'm no longer bringing my 27 inch iMac with me because it got incredibly difficult to carry around and towed around. I was afraid I was gonna break it. I've already scratched it pretty badly. So we got a brand new iPad Pro and I wanna see if you all notice a difference in the editing, if you like it more, like it less, if you're indifferent, if you just don't care. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it because with me having this iPad Pro, I am able to edit everything here then now like i don't have to worry about filming everything transferring it to a hard drive then three weeks later getting home then editing it so everything's kind of more real time so let me know what you guys think about the edit uh like comment subscribe notifications on we've got a bunch of other videos that we just have to edit up for you guys like i said i've got probably six videos uh, that i just need to edit and get out to you guys so we will see you all if you're at santee cooper we'll see you here soon and if not then maybe i'll see you up in virginia or back when i get back to tennessee we'll see y'all around take care guys Thank you